Hello, my name is Juan Gonzalez. I'm going to be presenting to you here at NAB 2022 our news solution that's including Prime CG and Cameo. So we're going to first start off with the Prime system. The Prime system is not only the hardware, but it's also the software. So there's Prime software. What we're looking at here is the layout of a two-channel, two-output system with preview. We have playlists, we have different scenes that we can select for a manual operation. This equipment could be used for manual CG, it could be licensed for uh, clip players, it could be licensed for branding, it could be licensed for video walls, and also for virtual set. Right now, we're going to concentrate on the CG workflow with the newsroom system. Like I said, we're looking at here the Prime Playout software. There's also an editor module, which is where you create all your different uh, scenes. We call them scenes in the Prime world. Those scenes are made up of different graphics layers, which include text layers, clip layers, it includes 3D objects, and it also includes uh, video DVEs that you can add. All those objects are keyframable on our timeline where you can add multiple actions that are controlled with our scene in our events and properties window. So it's really simple with the object-made methodology that the software has that we can add keyframes. Everything is exposed so it's easy to write conditions within this menu. Also, all of those graphic elements we could add effects to. So you're going to notice that there's an effects column with different effects assigned to all those objects. Those effects can range from crawls, blur effects, character effects, auto spacing. Those can also include any kind of font style or any kind of masking and cropping capabilities. There is a lot of different tool sets that we've added in uh, Prime version 4.5 that you can enrich your animations and your uh, look with. We also have very important a style sheet part that we're going to look at the outcome of which allows us to reskin or change the style of particular templates. So I recommend to everybody that's there to go to the Chiron Academy. Chiron Academy offers free training for those that want to learn how to design. We go through every single tool set relating to the design of our scenes. So I really ask if you want to learn more about designing in Prime, it is free and it also includes a license that you can play with as well. We're going to go back to the Prime Play Outside and this is where we're going to upload to the newsroom. So I'm still with my designer hat on and this is where the designer would go ahead and right click on a template that I worked on previously with another customer. I'm going to go ahead and Cameo upload and upload that to the specific look. In this example, it's called NAB News CG. Now, just as a side note, there is a mechanism within our workflow called Hub Drive, which is basically going to allow us to take all that content that I just made here and distribute it throughout our entire workflow. So you're going to notice that it's going to give you successful windows telling you that all that content has been delivered. You can always check here to see if all the different folders and structure is being sent to all your devices. So this basically is what's going to uh, take all the different folders and synchronize them to all your devices. No need of sneaker netting in content anymore. So now that we've uploaded that content into our Cameo, which is our asset management server, we are going to put on our producer hats. So on the right hand side here, the ambiance we're looking at is ENPS, newsroom system, with our Cameo, our latest Cameo plugin. It's called Lucy. So this ActiveX plugin, we call it Lucy, is where the producer will be able to browse all their templates. In this example, you're going to notice I'm going to refresh and I'm going to be able to see the template that I just uploaded, which is a DVE test move. I can go ahead and preview it. In that particular instance, uh, we're going to look at other templates here. Let's do a lower third. Now, something I wanted to show you about here is that you not only have the ability to type content, but you also have the ability to have pull-down menus. 
So for example, here on the right hand side, I've already made a pull down menu that has options of different teams. Notice that changing something here can also affect other templates. So there's a lot of tool sets that we could talk about within the Lucy plugin that will allow us to make it easier for the producer to do all the changes they need to make. You also, if you needed to, you could also do free typing here. It also has spell check. And then one of the main things is it's auto preview. Once that preview is generated, there's a bunch of things that we could do with that. The journalist can now look at and see what that graphic is going to look like on the air and how it's going to animate. So it gives them an idea of how that function is going to happen. We also have the ability to take that graphic and export it for an editor or for your online content. So with the render media, this is using our media engine solution with its part of Cameo. You can render this graphic as a still or as a movie file. So that could be used on uh, social media and can also be used by an editor in any piece. For the movies, we have different work for workflows that allows you to render in different flavors and also allows you to distribute uh, depending on the category that you can create in your plan. We also have the ability to save content. So this is really important if you want to pre-stage a lot of content. This is great for pre-staging any kind of graphic that you don't know when or where you're going to use, but you know you're going to use it at some point. And that's available in a tab called Saved Items. So you'll notice that Saved Items, all those items are previously saved. I never added it to a rundown. I can always search the terms of what is typed inside those graphics. So if I know that I typed Juan in one of those graphics, only the ones that have typed the name will show up. This tool, the saved items, is going to save producers a lot of time in having to create base templates that they already know they're going to use. For example, the city name, politicians names, locators of townships, and things like that. We also have content that we can browse. So for example, these are all elements that get incorporated into templates. An example here is that there's going to be a graphic template like this one that I want to make a graphic for. So let me go ahead and go to a template that has a replaceable for that image. The designer decides what the producer can change or not. So this panel that we see here, the designer uh, lets the producer change the information on the top line and on the bottom line and allows them also to change the image. The image, of course, you can search by metadata, so if you have it already, you could go ahead and use it. But let's say that you don't have the image. One of the cool things that Cameo and Lucy bring together is the ability for the producer themselves to create these graphics. So there's a Compose Image button that gives you some rudimentary tools for a producer that doesn't have an art department at that particular moment at their disposal. They could do a composition of three layers. They can upload images. So I'm going to go ahead and upload uh, one of the templates that I've already shown earlier that you can export. You can move that around. You can scale it. And like I mentioned earlier, there is the ability to do multiple layers. So in the other layer that you have here, let's say you wanted to do a representation of a comparison between players. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, LeBron. And then this gives you a way to make your own composites. That composite, you label it, and all of a sudden that composite is available for anyone in your newsroom to use. Not only in that graphic, but also to be able to use in any other graphic. You can always add that directly to your rundown. And now we're going to go ahead and take this rundown to air. So I'm saving all my scripts. And now we're going to transition in the control room. So this is a software that the director is going to see in the control room. This software is called ISQ. And this software is basically taking your rundown and it's synchronizing all the elements in these different playlists. ISQ will separate all your graphics into individual playlists. We have installations that have up to eight channels that they can control with these two shop boxes that you see in front of us. 
You don't necessarily have to control this with these eight shot boxes. There's some automation systems out there that we can have the automation be the one that basically controls this device. So just to give you an idea, what we have here is all the different stories that we've made. I've exposed the thumbnails and the page numbers associated and also whatever content is listed inside the graphic. This allows me to navigate, so if I wanted to go to my home, it's gonna automatically pre-stage and get ready on preview. This also is gonna give you the information of what's coming up. Now, if we're gonna look up here on the left-hand side of the monitor, and on the right-hand side of the monitor, you're gonna see two separate outputs. So I'm gonna hit play on channel one, and you're gonna see the output animate on channel one. I'm gonna hit play on channel two, and that's gonna animate on channel two. Now, what I like about the Prime system is let's say that if you are in a situation that you do need to make something, you always have access to the editor, and you can uh, make any changes on the editor side, and nothing is gonna get affected on the playout side. You're gonna notice that we have a specific feature where we can synchronize that rundown to a playlist directly into our system. Also, we can call up those numbers uh, numerically as well. But the majority of the folks utilize the playlist to be able to run through their graphics at any time. You'll notice that right now I can cycle through my graphics. All my graphics have the logic built in to transition within each other, or if I wanted to hit stop, there's macros that I can use uh, to do certain things. We can also use GPIs for those of you that continue to use the tally workflow as well. And just to add to this, Prime is a multi-layered system. So if now we want to add a crawl, we do have a new sticker product that will make uh, you know generating the crawls on the air a lot easier. With website or through a particular device, we can go ahead and trigger these. I'm gonna hit broadcast and you're gonna notice that at the same time, we're gonna have all of our news graphics on channel one and in another layer, this system will automatically be using our automation tool to feed graphics, information, and any kind of logic directly to the screen. So with that being said, we have our crawl on the air and at the same time, I can go ahead and continue to run through my different graphics. So let's say that I wanted to, any kind of graphic that I want, you can always uh, switch the graphic. You can always, you know, change it. And basically keep on cycling down with your show. Same thing goes for the other channel. There's some tool sets that are available within ISQ for the director. If they really needed to go into a particular graphic to make a change, let's say that they wanted to go to one of these graphics that I have here, I can right click edit. It'll take me to the scenario for me to edit that graphic. So in case I need to change any kind of information, I can replace it and that will be automatically ready for me to take to air, even if it's out of order. Also, you have the ability as a director to right click and change the channel assignments on the fly, even though this could definitely be done constantly within the EMPS, iNews, Octopus, or any other rundown system that our Lucy plugin uh, works in. Again, I hope you enjoyed the review of our workflow from start to finish. Notice how quickly we can get you to air. A template is created, upload, a producer uses it and automatically it's ready for you to air through our ISQ playback. Thank you very much for your time and look forward to seeing and hearing from you soon.